what's up everyone this is Asadullah Chaudhary and in this video lesson I'm gonna talk about CSS float property the CSS float property is used to push your elements to the right side or to the left side that means the elements are floated horizontally you cannot float them vertically okay so let me open up my text editor to show you an example I'm using sublime text editor 3 I'm gonna create a new file I'm gonna save this file inside a directory that I haven't created yet I'm gonna name this directory CSS float tutorial okay and the file name is gonna be index.html I'm gonna create another file this time it's gonna be the CSS style sheet and I would like to put my CSS style sheet inside a public directory and then another directory which is CSS style.css perfect so now I'm gonna generate my HTML I'm ready to go and the title is gonna be CSS CSS float tutorial now I have to link my external style sheet which is inside public CSS and the file name is style.css okay so I'm gonna create a div tag and it's gonna be a container and this since it's a container so it will be containing some elements this time I'm going to use a class because I would like to apply the same styles to more than one element so that's why I'm using the class selector box paste and one more time paste perfect so now I have to open this in my browser my default web browser is Chrome and I'm not gonna use Chrome for this tutorial I would like to use Mozilla Firefox instead and I'm gonna open up my developer tools all I have to do is to right click and click inspect elements let me show you once again right click inspect elements and these are the developer tools which I'm gonna use for this uh, tutorial I'm gonna click style editor and I have to append a new style sheet I'm gonna save it actually I'm gonna replace it with the one I just created yes okay so now I'm gonna target the container I'm gonna give it some border so that uh, it can appear on the page border solid so here you can see it's just a straight line because uh, the container is not containing any kind of data but the but three of the empty div tags so that's why it's just showing the border so always remember as soon as I add up some data which have some height so the container height will be depending upon the height of its internal elements so let me give some height to its internal elements so you will notice the container will be grown with respect to its internal elements elements h e i g h t height 100 pixels width 100 pixels okay so now i'm going to target my internal elements I mean the boxes one by one individually so all I have to do is to use the pseudo selector and ch child one means I'm talking about the first box background color purple uh, let me copy this and paste it few few more times paste paste 
box number second and box number third the second box background color should be yellow and third should be green so far the page looks like this so as I mentioned earlier the fluid property is used to push your elements side by side so I would like to push my elements I mean these three boxes side by side so right now as you can see they are stacked they are placed one on the top of another and I want to show you something else as well let me give them some numbering number one number two number three if I refresh the page the numbers has been displayed over here and I should increase the font size as well so that here you can view them easily font size 50 pixels now it's easily visible to you okay to apply the float property all I have to do is to use the float left or either float right so I would like to float my elements to right to the left side float left so where is the container let me tell you what just happened as soon as I applied the float property to these three elements the, these boxes are taken out of the normal page flow and the container has been shrinked the container is assuming that these boxes do not these boxes do not belong to it anymore so that's why the container has been shrinked so as I mentioned earlier as soon as you put the elements inside the container the container height will be depending upon its internal elements so it has been shrinked now because it's assuming these boxes are not the child elements anymore these boxes are taken out of the normal page flow so that's why the container has been shrinked and if I had some more elements right after the container the left place will be occupied by them the for example I had some more elements like div tags it could be div or anything else I'm gonna give it an ID and the ID is last if I open up my style sheet I have to target the element with a cloud with with an ID last background color is gonna be gray and height is gonna be 50 pixels so there you can see the elements has been overlapped and the gray box has occupied the left place of these three boxes so if you are working if you are making layouts and you are using the float property and you do not have a good understanding with this so your work could be messed up your layout could be messed up so you should have a great understanding if you want to use the float property so if I remove the float left property everything is perfect now everything is now in this in the normal page flow all right so I'm gonna undo the changes float left once again so now I have to fix the container so how I'm gonna do this all I have to do is to clear the float right after the green box because uh, I have I have only three elements and I want these three elements to be floated so that's why I have to clear the float right after the green box So what I'm going to do is to put another element right after the green box, the third one. I'm going to give it an ID 
and this time the ID is going to be re reset. I give it a I give it a meaningful ID reset. That means uh, I'm going to reset the float. Reset. Either I can use clear both or I could use clear left. So normally you will see in different scripts the clear both will be used. So as soon as uh, I clear the float, everything is uh, everything is uh, went back to normal. The container has the same height as its internal elements. So this is uh, what I wanted. All right. Let's suppose I had another element and that was my first element and I'm going to give it, I'm going to apply some styles to it first background color red height 100 pixels width 100 pixels width 100 pixels so if I remove the float uh, clear uh, left you can notice the red box has not been affected that means the elements uh, before the floated elements are not get affected only the floated element are and the following elements as well if I undo the changes so everything is perfect now okay there is another um, uh, important concept because uh, this I, I like to use this property to make layouts as well as the navigation bars so horizontal navigation bars so in the horizontal navigation bar the sequence matters let's suppose I had this box number one was home and then some other menu and then some other menu what I mean to say is I want to keep this sequence as it is one two three and if I apply the float right property this won't work what I mean to say is it will look like this let me show you with an example float right one two three the sequence has been disturbed the sequence also matters and sequence also gets affected if you are working with the float I should do it clear both okay so if I was uh, making a horizontal navigation bar so instead of uh, float right I'll be using the float left property just to keep the sequence of my elements float left now everything is uh, normal okay so let's suppose I had some I had some text right after the third box and uh, let me get lorem if some text text inside the paragraph as you can see I use a float left property and the text right after the third box has been flown to the right side because I use the float left property so if you are using the float right property the following text will be will be will be flown uh, flown to the left side okay float right and the following 
the text would be flown to the left side and float left the following text would be flow, flown to the right side and what if I want to put my text in between these boxes I want my third box to be floated to the right side and one or two should, should stay where they are so how I'm gonna do this I would go to my style sheet and all I have to do is to target the third box and I have to apply the float right property so now you can see the third box has been floated to the right side and one box number one and two are where they supposed to be and the text is now in between them all right so what else is remaining okay so as I have discussed with you that uh, if you want to clear the float you will have to add this line line number 14 to fix the side effect of the float to get everything back to normal so you'll have to add this this line let's suppose you are making a website and you're working with the float at each time after the float after the floated element so you'll have to add up this line so it doesn't make any sense to me I mean it will increase the DOM size of your document I don't like this technique so instead of this technique there are some other remedies the first remedy is going to be if I go back to my browser and if I remove the paragraph because uh, I want my layout to be messed up so the currently is uh, currently the paragraph is in the normal page flow and the height of the container is depending upon the paragraph so that's why I, I have to remove this paragraph so the first method to fix this issue is to apply overflow hidden property to the container element actually the overflow hidden property is not made for this purpose so I don't like to use this to fix the float issue so instead of using overflow hidden property I'll use something else the better technique and I'm gonna target the container and then a pseudo element right after the container the first line is gonna be content and it's an empty string display block clear both to make it compatible with legacy Internet Explorer browser you can add line number six alright so hope this video tutorial proves helpful to you and uh, you can ask me if you need any kind of specific tutorial alright then see you bye bye